Before going to use Maven, we have to know two points. One, first point is, what is the use of Maven? Why we have to use Maven? And the second point is Maven structure. So first point we have covered in first class, we are going to cover Maven structure. Maven basically have a three layers. First one is public artifact repository and that will be connected by our local repository and our local repository will be connected connected to the Maven installation directory which we have in local. So first public artifact repository will be accessed by all the people and which we have a private repository that will be accessed by within project or within a, a company and that will be connected by the our Maven installation directory. If you see brief description of uh, structure repository manager and that will be given uh, that uh, location details will be given in settings.xml that settings.xml will be selected by the maven installation directory so based on the settings.xml using mirrors url jars will be downloaded to the pom.xml which we have included as a dependency in pom.xml so every maven project will have a pom.xml file for jar entries as we saw earlier class available jars will be downloading from repository manager it will paste it in your local repository location so repository manager and locate lo local repository location should provide in maven settings.xml file and communication between maven and project we have to set in eclipse with the local repository location so you have to remember these points that's why i repeatedly told you two times so settings.xml will have a communication details between project and repository manager project pom.xml will point out local repository which has all jars whatever we have entries we have provided in pom.xml these jars will be downloaded from the repository manager so don't get confused with all these points and just see this picture alone so whatever entries will be pom.xml will be uh, will be downloaded uh, based on the mirror uh, mirror url which we have in settings.xml and settings.xml we will have a urls of a repository manager these three you have to keep in mind so we'll see how we we are we are using settings.xml how we have a urls for mirrors so if you go to eclipse so before going to use maven we have to know two points we uh, first we have to install maven plugin for eclipse and the second point we have to download maven installation directory so we'll go and see see after installing maven we can see this tab in preferences windows preferences of eclipse and this one and after after installation after installing maven we inside maven we have a installation tab inside this installation tab see this is my location of maven directory which i have downloaded from maven so this is the directory of maven installation so once you pick this that will be automatically uh, set uh, automatically this will be set for installation directly as settings.xml as we saw whatever entries we are giving in pom.xml nothing but all the dependencies jars will be downloaded from the uh, settings mirror url so this connectivity so now we have done connectivity to our local repository to maven settings.xml so we'll open uh, open settings.xml and see what we have so this is our maven settings.xml as of now i don't have any uh, 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 private repositories so uh, once we download this maven repository so automatically it will connect maven repository of which we uh, which accessed by all the people that will be public so generally this is the example for repository so our jars will be downloaded from the mirrors so we'll check for mirrors 
mirrors so this is the mirror so the charts will be downloaded from this url whatever we specify from here so this is the maven settings.xml so i think now you got a link so this 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 is my palm.xml which we uh, have entries for all the charts so these charts will be downloaded from installation directory of maven which is which we have a settings.xml so in settings.xml we have a mirrors url location which we specify our private repository if we don't have a private repository, if we want to use our local setup, just to download Maven, uh, Maven installation directory from Maven and just paste it in your local. So uh, automatically this uh, Maven is giving access to the central repository which we, which all the people have access to. So jars will be downloaded from here. So this is our settings.xml. So if we if you have a uh, private uh, uh, private uh, I mean that will be specific to your project or your uh, application you can have you can give a details of user ID and password which we have access to and uh, we will specify these details for that and what and all uh, uh, we have a details and we will specify our mirror location of URL where we are uh, maintaining all the charts. These are the details for setting static XML. Basically if you want to install Maven and if you are not getting any points from where you have to uh, how to install and all I am providing that also. Uh, see this is the link for Maven installation for Eclipse you can follow these steps for Eclipse and you can easily install your Maven for Eclipse and this is very easy and it will give you a nice idea after reading this article see I am showing how to set uh, this one and don't forget to set environment variables where we are where we have a three so basically whenever we are uh, setting any environment variables so what is the use of environment variables so if you want to run or if you want to do maven clean install through command prompt for sure we have to set all these environment variables so these are the three are important maven home maven opts i mean options and path these three are very important if you want to run maven clean install through command prompt i hope you understand well thank you